made a video the other day about how abusers know exactly what they're doing and they know that they're abusive. One of the things that also came to mind, if you've ever been in an abusive relationship um, and you may have experienced this, um, is a narcissistic person laughing at you. Um, specifically, what you may notice is them laughing at you after they feel like they have gotten one over on you. Um, they will laugh at you if um, if you've gone through something bad, you're down on your luck or whatever. So it'll be sort of this antagonistic laughing um, and joking about like, you know, bad things that you may have gone through. It can be behind your back with other people or it can be with you, you know, sort of as a passive aggressive put down and smirk and laughing at you. Um, and then again, there's, um, the laughing at you. Um, one of the things that I've, I've known about, or, you know, have experienced back in the day is, um, antagonistic laughing where, um, they may, they may sort of, um, you know, and, and there's been like a TikTok about this too, right? Where there was a girl sort of crying on the phone. She left her boyfriend a message and she was crying to him. And um, he was was sort of like laughing and calling her back and mocking him and his friends. And so there's been that sort of thing, too, where there's more, more like they include people to sort of mock you and laugh at you. So I'm just kind of curious if you've experienced, um, you know, a narcissist or someone who's pathological and toxic um, laughing at you after, you know, they've caused you an intense amount of pain or they've known you, um, to go through an intense amount of pain and discomfort and sort of made light of it. Um, and that could be with romantic partners, friends, and, and, um, especially family where family will sort of bring up, um, some of your, you know, maybe something that you went through and sort of laugh, mock you, and you'll be the butt of the jokes at the holiday dinners and, and whatnot. Um, so I'm just kind of curious if you've experienced that, but that's a telltale sign that people know exactly what they're doing, um, when they make uh, light of you and, um, you know, sort of, uh, degrade you, um, you know, sort of put you down just to have an expense of humor. Um, you know, on a, on, a, on a larger scale, one of the things that I particularly don't care for um, is uh, comedy anymore, um, specifically African-American comedy, because I think on a larger scale, um, this happens a lot in African-American comedy where you see, um, like, you know, some of the bigger names even, make light of black women and some of the things that, you know, some of the trauma that black women go through, um, in order to be made a mockery of in front of, you know, other people, uh, specifically other people of a different race. Uh, so I see, I've seen that a lot and it really just kind of turned me off from, um, stand up comedy a lot in general because, um, you know, black women by and large have been a butt of a lot of jokes um, from African-American comedians.